Hello everyone. Melissa here. Yes, we're recording. Sorry. Um, welcome back to Let's Talk with Paul and Melissa. And I have um, a Dollar Tree haul. I went to two different locations. And then I also have um, a couple bags from Walmart. I was going to... Um, I'm so sorry. Excuse wow. me. Uh, Finny, I was going to record our groceries. Um, we spent, I think it might have been $205 at Walmart, but um, I didn't get a chance. But some of the stuff I'll be showing you just because it, it's like um, some snacks and some... Uh, miscellaneous stuff okay all right so uh we did not go to the um dollar tree that we really really like that's 25 miles away we didn't go there i am so so sorry i have not slept good in two days and i am very tired paul and i both are going to sleep in tomorrow we already said that we're not doing anything tomorrow on Sunday. We're going to sleep in and uh, catch up on my sleep. Okay. So, we went to one Dollar Tree um, in Lebanon, and which is our Dollar Tree in Lebanon. The one by Kroger is small. And the, the other... Dollar Tree in South Lebanon, which is down a couple doors from everything five below and down a couple doors from Target. That's a little bit bigger, and if that's the nicest um, of the two Dollar Trees in Lebanon. So um, I went to the one across the street from Kroger, the smaller one. And then we went to a nicer, bigger one in Lebanon. But it's not as good as the one we go to that's 25 miles away. So I just wanted to give you an idea. So, um, I'm sorry these bags are in no particular order. <clears throat> I'm... Dang it, I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Um, so, I'm just going to start... Um, you know, showing you what I got. So, the first Dollar Tree bag. See, we got some, just to show you the different locations, I guess. We have some that are the silver, or like the gray bag, not silver. And then some are the white. So, okay. I got the super sparkly, real pretty... Snugadoo socks. They are the beautiful glittery ones. Or sparkly. They have all those sparkles in them. You can see that. Um, this black pair. Um, to go. It's a gift for somebody. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, a Christmas gift. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So they had this, these sparkly ones in red. And black. But I just... I kind of liked the black ones for her, so, um, and they are soft, even though they do have the, the sparkly. So I got the black, and I was so excited, look, I got me two more pairs of the llama socks. So this gives me a total of three pairs now of the llama socks. Um... Yeah, at the one particular store, we spent $10.63, and the second store, it was well over 30 some dollars. Remember how? All right. Um, a packet of Big Red Gum. I'm going to do a video tomorrow um, putting together some um, Christmas present gift bag type things. So you're going to want to watch that. So that was in that first bag. Alright, the second bag. I 
got some more of these antibacterial travel wipes, you know, with the two. I have an idea that I may use a couple of these uh, when I make the gift bags. Um, I got three of those. They had plenty, so I went ahead and got that. And look at this really pretty, um, I hope it shows up for you guys. My husband got some of this cutlery set. It's clear, but it has flecks of silver and gold. I think you can kind of, yeah, see, you can see it. Glitter. Silver and gold glitter. And they're really, they feel um, nice and heavy duty. So he got two packs. And there's 21 pieces in each one. You get... Oh, three. Okay, I'll look. Um, you get knives, forks, and spoons. So then I'm assuming you get seven of each if it's 21. Well, in this particular bag, there's only two. Okay, Paul saw this for me. Sour Jacks, Wild Berry, Sour Wedges. I love me some gummy candy and sour, of course. And these are super soft. I've never had these before. Okay, on the back of the package right here, it says it also comes in lemonade, which I would like to try, watermelon, and sour green apple. Just, I'm putting it out there just, to, you know, because I tell you guys what I like and don't like. Out of all of these, I wouldn't, I don't really care for the apple flavored candy, like the green apple, that's, I don't really like that. But I would definitely try the lemonade and the watermelon. All right, Paul wants me to try one. <clears throat> Sour Jacks. I just want to see who is this. I don't know what the. I guess the brand is just called Sour Jacks. I don't know. Get a pair of scissors here. Cut it enough. Okay. This is what it looks like. It's like a sugar cube. Three different colors, and it does have the sugary stuff on it. It's not that sour. It's good, but... Okay, I'm tasting the berry now. Okay. Just so you know, this is a chewier gummy. This um, is, you know, you have to chew it more than some gummies out there. It's good, but I wouldn't say it's sour. You know, it has a little bit of a twang, but that's okay. Now, some of these snacks I got to put in with the um, the gift baskets I'm making, so to speak. It's going to be in a little bag. But I got this sunshine blend. I don't want to say who this is for, but this is going to be in a gift gift bag. Bag number two, done. All right. I want to make a video with Will. If he's feeling up to it, um, you know, uh, he may or may not. So if it doesn't happen, then he wasn't feeling good. But I was glad to find one of these felt Christmas trees. They don't give you, I guess I should have looked for some other kind of things, but I got some glitter glues and stuff. I thought he might enjoy 
making this and I also have I'll have him do it at the same time a snowman kit just like this that I made for him so I'm gonna try to see if he feels up to filming putting this together in a snowman okay I picked out this um, 16 sheets of gift uh, you know tissue because I have a gift I needed a gift bag and then I needed some of that my poor gift bag got a little banged up but I think it'll be okay I went ahead and went with this um, more old you know vintage looking Santa Claus he's holding a train I don't know I just kind of liked this one um, it's a bigger bag because for what I need it for so this is what you know what I needed it for the tissue paper but you'll see all this when I start putting my gifts together now um, I don't know if any of you guys watch um, Smokey, Steve, and Mark, but we happen to like them. They do um, DIYs. They do. Um, they talk some about mental health. Um, they do a show, a weekly show, which I don't know if they're going to continue during the um, the new year of. Um, caretaking about a certain person CB that's what I'm all I'm gonna say we anyhow we happen to love them they have a recipe um, they had a video and they sent us the recipe it's called pumpkin cake so um, things have been absolutely crazy I feel horrible um, that I it's been two days past Samuel's birthday, and I still haven't been able to make his pumpkin cake. It's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow is when it's I'm gonna do it. And so, he's not, and he's okay with that. He's okay with that because we. He knows how busy we've been. We um, the 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 reason I didn't get it made the the first night was um, we had some wrong ingredients, so we had to go back to the store to get the correct ingredients and in the process of doing that it was going to take way you know it was going to be way too late Sam would have been in bed so um anyhow so I'm going to make one for Samuel and our family now we're going to be getting together Christmas Eve with um my dad and um stepmom Carolyn and my brother and Amber. So I'm going to make a second pumpkin cake. And I couldn't find any of the um, paper boxes with the cellophane window that um, some people found. Like, you know, you can put cookies in or cake or whatever. But look what I found. I found these adorable plastic. Did it say how many ounces? Let me see. Uh, imported Greenbrier International, it just says container. Not recommended for use in the microwave or dishwasher. But all I'm going to do is put, I'm going to bake one um, pumpkin cake and I'm going to divide it up between half of it's going to go to Billy and Amber and half's going to go to um, Dad and Carolyn. So, you know. That works out perfect because neither one would want a full cake. So I found these adorable containers, and that's what their cake is going to go in. Okay? Now, I was shocked to see this. Um, safe and healthy disinfecting UV light as seen on TV new um, I'm just looking to see yeah you need four 
triple A batteries, which are not included. I figured as much. That's fine. Um, here's the back. So we're going to do a video for you guys on this. Um, so be on the lookout for that. We're going to test this out, okay? The ass seen on TV, right there, right here. So I thought that was interesting, because we have been really looking at, at different types of units like this. The one we're looking at at Walmart is like $39.99, so it's like, oh. And they had something like this particular exact type thing. I don't know if it's the exact same box, but something just like this at Walmart, and it was not a dollar. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can find a brand on this. It says right here, Safe and healthy disinfecting UV light is for use on non-food contact surfaces and is effective on plastic, metal, glass, wood, porcelain, polyester, cotton, and cardboard. Kills 99.9 .9 of the PHI-X174 bacterio Edge, bacteriophilage, something like that. Viruses found within the microviridae family. Anyhow, a bunch of words I can't pronounce, and I'm sure I'm butchering them. But we are going to try this. I buy that one, Dad. <laughs> okay. All right. Another bag. Paul. F Oopsie. Paul found this adorable snowman um, gift box. There's three pieces. We're going to open this so we can tell you what other designs they have. Because, well, he wanted it for the snowman. So, you know, we're happy it had the snowman. But he said in the store, I wonder what the other designs are. We're going to find out right now. Okay? The snowman. Uh, red and white snowflakes. Let us know, let us know, and look at this cute Santa. So it's gonna, it basically would be like a shirt box. You know, like a dress shirt box that looks that's what the size looks like to me. So that was a really good deal. 33 cents per box. Can't beat that. So that's what Paul picked out. This next thing I just think is so flippin' cute. And I have to fix all of his joints because the girl, I couldn't believe she took the time to do this, but she did. She made sure that she... Um, turned his joints the way so they wouldn't get folded in the bag. Isn't he cute? Look at him. He's so sweet. His legs and arms are jointed so you can, you know, pose it however you want. Maybe he'll go out and feed squirrels. <laughs> it has this tie at the top. So I thought of Will when I picked this out because Will get so into um, decorating for Christmas. So I got that because of Will. Oh. My husband picked me up their ad. I'll show you what's... Uh, if you don't have the ad... Right. There's that. And I'm going to be slow because I want to give you time to look. Paul said the ad's available online. 
Okay. I'm just going to do front and back. I'm not going to do open the inside, but okay. That gives you an idea. So see, there's the inside that I'm not going to bother showing you because he's acting like he's irritated. I am not irritated. <laughs> With me showing just you. Like that he doesn't. He it. doesn't like the smell. I saw these as we were going through. Um, these are little glittery silver poinsettias, and they're on clips. Okay. So, oh, can you go on the hutch and get me those little? ornaments. Um, this is going to go onto um, three gift bags that I'm going to make a video on for you. I had some other stuff for the other ones, but this just happened to be around the checkout, and it's like, that will work. It's pretty. It's festive. They can reuse it because it's a clip. So Paul's getting the other... Thing that I'm going to use on some of the gift bags. Yeah, we we had a lot of running around to do to pick up all the different things that we picked up today. Um, so I'm also going to show them that bag because I did that. I didn't show them yet. You, you oh, thank you. I brought it on the silver tray. He likes to pretend he's my butler. He likes to bring me stuff on a silver tray. 23 but years, still here are these adorable mini ornaments. They're um, de deer heads with um, gold glitter. And they all have this cute little um, bell, which doesn't sound, you know, you don't hear it much. Excuse me. And they each have these adorable wreaths. So I'm tying these to a certain somebody's gift bags we're doing. And then the other ones are going to get these pretty glittery poinsettias. Okay? All right, Tay. Now, my husband needed a couple gift cards, so he chose um, these two. Oh, yeah. Here is the third set of the clear with the gold and silver glitter. And again, you're, you're seeing all these different little cool um, treat bags. This is, I'm just going to set them all out and I'm going to decide who goes with which person. I thought this looks interesting. Granola bites, chocolate flavor. This also came in um, cinnamon and I checked all the dates. No issues. And this is for somebody, Peppermint Bark Bar. This is the third one I've bought so far. Ain't but this for is going to be. This is also for another person, Milk Chocolate Caramel Filled. This is for me. I want to try the um, Demets. Turtle bites, because I told you before, I love me some turtles. So we're going to test these out. You get three of them. I'm used to buying the Russell Stover, but hey, I'm willing to try this. Really? This bag is one of the things I'm going to be using tomorrow for the gift bags. Really? Look at him. Now, this is another thing that's going to go in someone's bag, the Energy Blend. I eat this myself. I absolutely love this. Very, very good. Okay. So, you know, you can get some really nice... There's no way that you would pay a dollar for this at Kroger or Walmart even. So, you know, that's a really good... Um, deal to um, comp, you know jazz up the gift bags that I'm going to be doing. Put our little guy over there so he doesn't get messed up. 
Okay. Here's another bag from the Dollar Tree. Hi there. Hi there. How are you doing? I already showed you this, but I had to put it in here so it didn't get lost. I found these adorable Chihuahua because we have Chihuahuas. It says Howl a Days. These are money holders, but we're going to use this to put gift cards in. And then this is going to go into I got six of these loot bags. They've got gingerbread people on them. They've got ornaments. Really cute. So their gift card's going to go in this. This is going to go in here. And it's going to be filled with some other treats and stuff. The theme is going to be peppermint. Okay? In the bags. So. We're going to have some peppermint, the red bird. These things melt in your mouth. Those are going to be in the bag. I'm not in your hands. The big red gum's going to be in the bag. Yeah, so here's the second one. I did find a really pretty holiday bag, so we're going to use cover this first with the gift, and then cover over top because <coughs> this being white he might would be able to see but then we're going to double bag it so I don't think he's going to be able to see and look at this you probably know who this is going to be for because who's Josie's mommy that's for her I saw it and I had to get it Now, I have some other candy, um, those Ghirardelli squares, the dark chocolate and the white chocolate, they're going to, some of that candy's going to go in there. Some Russell Stover peppermint patties, that's going to go in there. You're going to see all kinds of stuff when I do it. Here's another bag, and we still have... Was it three more bags over here? Okay. Ivy liked this cat food, so I went ahead and got her the Plus Care one, which helps promote healthy immune system, helps support healthy digestion, helps maintain urinary tract. Yeah, this is the one we had bought her. Now, this is the different one, but it's still nine lives. This is the Daily Essentials one. Strong muscle growth, healthy heart and vision, healthy skin and coat. So she needed some more cat food, so they, they had it there. So we went ahead and got it. Will likes to keep these air fresheners in his room, and he needed some more. So um, I had to take a bathroom break, and I asked Paul to pick some out. So he got apple and cinnamon. Got three of them. Ours. Well, wait, we might as well take them all out. All right, that bag's done. I gotta take a drink real quick. I'm sorry. Really? I don't want to wear a bow. Look prettier than somebody else wearing bows on her head. Um, I finished my Speedway drink, so I'm drinking my diet um, juice, the five calorie juice. It's mango and cranberry, I think. So that's what that is. Another bag. Okay, now this is from Walmart. Cheetos! I got two bags of these. One was for Buddy Will, and this one's for Paul and I. I already gave Will his. I bought two of these Funyun bags. This one's for me and Paul. And the other one I gave to Samuel for him and his friend. Now, I got this to go with my dad's gift. 
he had always, um, when my mother was alive, he used to get one of these every Christmas. He loved it. It's the um, chocolate and orange, dark chocolate and orange, orange flavored chocolate. I never really cared for it because as much as I love oranges and orange juice, I don't know why, but I don't really like orange flavored chocolate. I don't know why, but that's for him and Carolyn to go with their gift. Now, I can't find any Junior Mints Crunchies. I'm really upset about that. All I could find was this kind. Candy started. Oh, see, look, these are, I, I've never had this version before. You either get a green filled or red filled. I've had at Valentine's Day the red or white, you know, the regular kind. But they've got some crunchy Junior Mints that people are hauling, and I can't find it. I'm really upset. I don't know where they're getting them from, but I haven't been able to find them. Okay. All right. I got a bag of Lifesaver Hard Candies for someone. Like I said, I'll figure out when I start putting these together. Look what my husband did when I wasn't looking. He got me four five ounce containers of lemon heads. He did that when I was not looking. I saw this, um, this is a nice four ounce size bag. Planters salted peanuts, that'll be for somebody. And I thought this was interesting. I think this might go to my brother. I think he's gonna like this. This is Taco Bell. These are Biggs. Taco Supreme Sunflower Seeds. So I'm going to put these in my brother's bag. I thought he might like that. Plus I figure if him and Amber, um, if I get it wrong, they can switch, you know, switch around if they want. Um, Paul saw these. The most stuffed Oreos. He got four packs. I'm assuming two for him, two for me, or did you get one for each of us, the boys and us included? Two for two. two for two. So two for him, two for me. We like it. I like to do mine with either milk or coffee. I've been, hey, I've been doing better. I, this week, I've been drinking a lot more water, and I have been having um, one, I know it probably doesn't sound like a much, but, but hey, I've been having one cup of tea, I add two um, creamer cups, because, you know, the reason I drink, I've, I like tea, especially when I don't feel good, and I feel congested, um, I need to drink more tea. Anyhow, um, how I take my tea is one tea bag. You know, this is for like a cup, like this, a coffee cup. Four artificial sweetener packets, the yellow, and two of the little bitty liquid um, creamer. Because I don't know what it is, but tea to me has like a little kind of a bitter taste so when I use the um, the creamer it takes that away and makes it really smooth so that's how I like mine so um, I need to start drinking more of it it's the black tea that he gets so I need to do like two maybe three of those she loves her tea time <laughs> don't spill the tea and you know what I told my husband to do with these I gave him permission to take my eight bags of lemon heads and hide them and only give me one bag a day. So. Yeah, and you have to search the house. Plenty. Oh, yeah, he thinks it's funny. He makes a game out of it. He hides it, and I have to go around looking for it. You know, fun little things. All right, this is 
our last bag, and it is Walmart, okay? I wanted, yes, we're still filming. I wanted a bag of the Andes Mints because this is going to go, I'm going to put some of this in the gift bags because I tried to keep all the candy as peppermint, okay? Because it's Christmas. It, I don't know, you just feel like you need minty type, peppermint type candy. So that's going to be divvied up and go in their bags. I got this for my brother. Um... My mother used to make homemade um, peanut, br peanut brittle. Um, and if you haven't tried this, I every time I see this, which there's sometimes when you just can't get it, um, I get this for myself. I absolutely love this. Planters used to make this, but um, distributed by Mars. This is really, really yummy if you haven't tried it. So this is for my brother. I thought that he, you know, he might enjoy. That's why I got some of the stuff I did. You know, uh, my mom's gone, so I thought my dad might enjoy his orange chocolate. And, you know, Billy would enjoy some of this um, peanut brittle. You know, it's really, really good. It's not homemade, but I think he'll still like it. And I was thinking Amber, this was for Amber. I try to also give people things that I happen to love to like say, hey, I really enjoy this. I think, you know, give it a try. What do you think? Um, they always have this uh, at the checkout of Walmart. Um, this little bag is like a dollar, almost two dollars. But I'm telling you what, it's the best two dollars you're going to spend. Maple pecans. It has dried cherries, apples um, glazed with maple and cinnamon. There is walnuts and pecans. I'm telling you, this is awesome. Very, very good. So this is going to go in Amber's bag. I think she might enjoy that. All right. It's winter time. You know, I needed to get another thing of uh, petroleum jelly. I got the cocoa butter one. I just got Equate. This is something that I don't, I don't have to have the name brand of, you know. So, I did need to get me some more of my acne treatment gel. Like I said, when I have to wear these face masks, oh my gosh. Let me tell you what happened today. My face tends to, you know, it sweats really bad. Because I, you know, I've told you this plenty of times. I suffer from really bad hot flashes. We were going through Walmart today. And that's always the worst store for me to be in where I get the absolute worst hot flashes. This never happened to me before. It, it was felt so weird. The inside of my ears literally started dripping water. I could feel it in my ear. Like I was in a shower and I was standing there and just letting water go right into my ear. It freaked me out. I did not like it. That's never happened to me before because um, I was so hot and sweaty. And then I went like this to the back of my hair and you could see a big, big thing of water on my hand. That is how bad the back of my head was sweating. Anyhow, I needed some more of my acne treatment gel. Now, I did see this. I got two of these because these were very, very reasonable. And um, these are patches that are treated. Well, no, it says non-medicated. Wait a minute. Okay. It says it protects your blemish from dirt, debris, and infections. So it'll, it'll cover them and keep them from getting worse, you know. Uh, it blends in with the skin for daytime or overnight use. It reduces inflammation and redness. So what I plan on doing is I'll put, like, wherever blemish, 
I'll put a little bit of this, this on, and then I'll slap one of these over top of it. This has 36 patches. This was $2 and something. So in case I've never seen these before, I got two packs. So I think I have covered all the bags. I don't even know how many bags that was, but it's been 40 minutes. So that was a nice size haul. We were out most of the day. Oh my gosh, we were running and running and running. Like I said, we are going to... What the heck? I am really excited to try this. We're going to do a video on this. After my battery, I got double A's. I don't have triple. I thought we bought you triple. I, I bought a small pack and I used them. Oh, so we're going to have to get more batteries. Bummer. Bummer! But, you know... It's going to find me a store I got. You know, I may get batteries for this. We may love this thing. And this would be another cool thing to with this Corona. Buy a couple more of these and put them in with their gift bags. But, like I said, I am going to give um, each person... Um, one of the packs of the hand wipes because um, at least where we live you can't always find those and they are really good I've told you guys before they're really nice hand wipes they're super thick um, and uh, they're not I think you'd have a hard time trying to rip them up they're like a really really tight weave so um, Put the bow on. Anyhow. You look prettier with them on than somebody else we know. <sighs> okay. Sometime this week, too, we'll probably do an update about Will regarding um, his seizures because we have a doctor's appointment and they called like a week ago and decided that we won't be going to the hospital for this appointment. We're going to do a phone call appointment. That's basically going to be our second opinion. Um, so I'll let you guys know. Uh, we'll do a separate video for that. You know, too... Um, Paul and I want to do a Q&A with you guys, so I may show him how some people post like a questionnaire thing on, I don't know how they do it, Samuel could probably help us, and uh, where you guys can submit questions to us and we can keep track of it and then do a Q&A video. I think that would be neat. So you could get, you know, get to know us a little bit better. We've got a few questions to ask. Yeah, some people have already sent a couple questions, but, um, yeah. Okay, that's all I have. Um, I may do a short video after I fix Samuel's cake to show you what it looks like. Um, but yeah, excited to try this. And this. All right, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday evening because it is 7.52 right now. I'm getting very, very tired, and I got kind of cranky uh, when we were eating because the dogs were getting really loud, and Samuel has a friend over, and I don't know what Bella's problem is. She was having a big hissy fit, and then all the dogs started acting out. Come here. Uh-oh, you just saw Ivy. She was back there. This little one. This little one. This Bella. This Bella. This is Bella. You been bad girl? Are you been bad girl? Hmm? You don't try to buy people. This stinks. 
Yeah, this does have a very strong papery smell. I need, also want to try to give her and Peanut a bath in the next couple days. This is Peanut's daughter, like I said, except she is chunky little baby. She takes after her mommy. She takes after her mama. She's a chunky little baby. There's your baby, Emma. But it's really cute. Emma still takes care of her baby to this day. They're very close. Um, Bella depends on her mother. She likes to go up to her mother, and her mother likes to kind of chew on her um, little whiskers for some reason. Bella finds it comforting, and Emma likes to do it, so we just let her do it because, you know, they, for some reason, they feel like, you know, they need to do it. It's mommy and baby bonding time or whatever. So it's really cute. Good safety tip for this thing. Do not look directly into the light. Well, hello. That's like taking a flashlight and pointing it right into your eyes. Do not expose skin to light or use on body. Keep reach out of children. He already opened this. And do not use on your pets. Why would you use that on your pet? Because some, they had to put it on there because some idiot already did it. Oh my gosh. I guarantee it. All right. Well, he won, obviously was very curious, wanted to see it, but he can't operate it yet because we got to go get some batteries. Ah, I'm blind. <laughs> Scare the crap out of me. <laughs> Holy crap. He does stuff like this to me just to irritate me. Yeah, my life is made to irritate you. <sighs> yeah, I just lost a couple years because you scared me. Okay, everyone. Um, <laughs> all right, we're going to get off here. Uh, have a really good rest of your evening. Um, enjoy your Sunday. And um, I hope everyone is doing well. We'll talk to you real soon, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.